We are under the lights this evening as we and get yeah. you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Houston Astros and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Here comes the 2-1 to Brantley. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that is through into right field for a single. That accepted. The third baseman, number two. Alex to the plate now, Alex Bregman. Bregman. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. And this throw gets away from him. That is third. The second base Jose Altuve. Stepping in now, Jose Altuve. Now Altuve connects. Deep left field. Upton going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The relay throw. And a daring move there pays off as he'll make it into third on the fly ball to left. The designated hitter. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. And they're runners at the corners now. The 1-1 home. Tight with the slider two and two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Another full count pitch on its way. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. So it's first and third with two away. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the run is Goodwin. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. In now is Andrelton Simmons. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's the one and one pitch. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. He's got it. And that's the first out. In now for the Angels, David Fletcher. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. The 2-1. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Altuve has a play. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Now the 2-1. Hops this one up. Correa onto the grass. He gets there to make the catch. And that ends the inning. Second inning set to go. Here's George Springer. And if you remember, he took home a Silver Slugger Award for AL Outfielders a year ago. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Well, he kind of struggled through that first inning, but ended up getting out of it. Now here in the second, you know he'd love to get this leadoff guy and get off on the right foot and maybe settle into this game a bit. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And that's through a base hit. In now, Carlos Correa. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. The count now at two and two. 
around the stretch. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revol. Due next is Josh Reddick as he gets ready in the on-deck circle. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. So here's Josh Reddick, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Taking off is Springer. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Fletcher takes charge, and he's got it. Two down. At the plate, Garrett Stubbs, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Springer leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. This is pulled into right. That gets down, and the inning continues. The relay, the tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. At the plate, Mike Trout. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Springer looking up. Off the rocks and gone. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Standing in now, Tommy LaStella. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Striding in, Justin Upton. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. All even now, two and two. Angels lead at one nothing here in inning number two. And Upton swings and misses on a good pitch, and he's set down on strikes for route number two. That is that. Now with the plate, Brian Goodwin. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Grounded back up the middle. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Top of the order now, and Michael Brantley settles in to hit at the plate. A 1 1. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up Alex Bregman. Here comes the 3 1 pitch. Line hard deep into left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. Now back the second baseman, Jose Altuve. At the plate now, Jose Altuve. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Jordan Alvarez. Called a strike and it's full three and two. Hard hit ball to short. And that's through into left to base hit. The throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. The first base of the car. You left the Guriel. Into the box, Yuli Guriel. Guriel behind a ball and two strikes. Two strikes. Three. 
And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. The uh, two two. swings and it's hit very well out to left and this ball is gone no chance to make a play on that one into the box now George Springer lays off the fastball low and it goes to two balls and a strike when he's pitching effectively, usually that two-seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. Could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. In the air now, out to right field. Waiting on it is Goodwin. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. The 2 2. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Four to one's our score here in inning number three. Two balls and a strike to the Angels' first baseman. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Here now the 2 2. Waiting next is Andrelton Simmons. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. Altuve for one. On to first, and they get the double play turned on Pujols. Into the box, Andrelton Simmons. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 1 home. Bases are empty here with two men out. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. set for the start of the fourth stepping in is Josh Reddick he popped out in his first trip yeah I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air but he can't collapse the backside and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. line drive the left Upton has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one Riding in once now again, back. Garrett Catch. Stubbs. He was Garrett. cut down at second, attempting Stubbs. to stretch a base hit his first time through. Yeah, Matty, his wheels got him in trouble a little bit last time. Hey. Tried to take advantage, thought the defense was napping a little bit. In retrospect, maybe he should have just shut it down and steal second base. Popped foul, and it looks like that's going to make it into the VIP seats. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Again, another foul ball. The one-two. 
Late swing and a ball line foul into the seats past the third base dugout. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. The one two. Ground ball sent back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Dylan Bundy answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Throw over to the bag. So now to the plate. Michael Brantley hit on the ground down the first baseline. Simmons on to first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Ready now for L.A. David Fletcher comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Reddick on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now In now is Anthony Rendon, a silver slugger Anthony. winner a year ago in the National League. The 3 1. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. 3 2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Anthony Rendon becomes out number two this inning. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Hey, that's the modern game right now, north-south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east-west we came up playing. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. At the plate, Tommy LaStella. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. It's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. The battle. No left field. Justin. Upton. In now, Justin Upton. Skied into straightaway right. Reddick will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman. His past history with Dylan Bundy, he's gone just two for 13. One and two now as that one's fouled off. The pitch. Drilled on the ground is short. Throw gets him at first base as he took away a sure base hit that time. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in Jose Altuve. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss strike two. Swing and a ground ball to third. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. 
Striding in for Houston, Jordan Alvarez. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Leading off the inning, Brian Goodwin, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Correa waits on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now that is Stepping up to the plate, Jason Castro. He drew a walk his first time up. A 1 1. It is looked at for ball number two. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball is looked at for strike two. That's a tough pitch for a batter. If you're not expecting it, you'll end up with half a bat after you swing. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Digging in for his second at bat, Albert Pujols. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. in the air out to center field. Springer has a read on it. And that retires the side. Now the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel. The last at bat, Manny D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. We're in the sixth inning now of a four-to-two ball game. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Here's Carlos Correa now. No hits to this point. The 1-1 home. Hit hard to the right, but foul. The 1-2 is taken for ball two. And it's fouled away. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. This one's down to third. Throw over to Pujols at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. Brad Peacock enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Angel shortstop behind in the count at a ball and two strikes. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Bregman gloves it. One away. Now at the plate, David Fletcher over two for him to this point. The one-one home is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. And I really don't know how you swing at that. He must have had his mind up. He was going to swing as soon as the ball came out of the pitcher's hand. Two runs, three hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Full count now. Three and two. The bouncer to the left side. Bregman fields it cleanly. Throw in time at first for route number two. At the 
plate, Anthony Rendon. It was a backwards K strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the set bat. Into the windup, here's the 2-1 and one pitch. That's strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Digging in now, Josh Reddick. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. A 1-1. Right side, but it's well foul. The one two it is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Ready once now again. Back. Garrett Stubbs. Two base hits, Garrett. both singles to this point. This is pulled into right, but this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. Here's Michael Brantley. He was a double play victim last time around. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4-2 our score. Lifted down the line and left. After it is Upton. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. For the traditional seventh inning Here's the center fielder Mike Trout two home runs in two at bats so far and looking to add to that here going back to that last a B that was the express that was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around so I think with this guy you might want to try to incorporate some more off speed pitches every ball club has that spark plug guy and this is the guy right here he usually ignites a lot of productive innings the three and one pitch. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. So one away now for the Angels in the seventh, and that'll bring in Tommy LaStella to bat next. The one-two. is Swung on and missed. Strike three. Here's Justin Upton now. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Two runs, three hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. A shot down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Ready to begin the eighth. Digging in once again, Alex Bregman. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Swing and a liner. Well, this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first out. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Hit hard up the middle. Reined in. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen are you kidding me nobody goes five innings anymore and that one never threatened the zone it's gone full now to three and two every base runner in a close game like this really matters so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late
the Colts paper, number 10. Really Standing in now, Yuli Gurriel. And there's ball two now. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Big spot here. First and second, two men gone, and former World Series MVP George Springer bats next. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Your attention, please. New pitcher coming on now as we get a look at the side armor, Joe Number Smith. Joe. Now at the plate, Brian Goodwin. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 2 1. Is looked at for ball three. Smith was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right hander. Altuve has it, throws in time, and that's out number one. So digging in now, Jason Castro. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up, just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Even count, two balls and two strikes. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle, and that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. At the plate now, Albert Pujols. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Out of play. Fouled off. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left field. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Stepping in now, Andrelton Simmons. Two balls and a strike to count to Andrelton Simmons. Called strike two. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. One out, nobody on. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Chris Davinsky enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. David Fletcher will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. It's a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So it's a runner at first with two men out. That'll bring up Anthony Rendon. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. 
Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Here's the payoff pitch. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. If you're on the mound right there and you're getting a swing at a breaking ball off the plate, do not be shocked if he's tucked something up under this guy's chin hot right here. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Yeah. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there were two down. Now back. Coming to the plate now, Good. Garrett Stubbs. Stubbs. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Fielded cleanly, and the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Line drive to left. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. The dedicated hitter, Tommy. To the plate now, Tommy Lestella. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. He's going, he's On the going, move is Trout from first. That's a strike to throw it. Not in time. He's in there at second. Possible winning run on second. No one out. Hit on the ground toward the left. Bregman has it. Throw to first is in time for the first out. So coming to the plate, Justin Upton. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Now the 2-1. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Full count still. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Next batter to the plate, now Brian back. Goodwin. The as he'll look to get the ball into oh, the yeah. outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. To two balls and two strikes now. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. Slow roller out to short. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Jaime Berea takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Number 51. Jaime. 
So the Houston lineup turns over and to the plate Michael Brantley who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Maria 23 years old. He's in his third season as a major league player. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Upton's under it. One down. Next up for the Strohs, Alex Bregman. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Now the one and one pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. Pro will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base runner. The second base Jose Altuve. Into the box now, Jose Altuve. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Striding forward now is the DH, Jordan Alvarez. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Two balls and two strikes now. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Now on 3-2 and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Ready with the payoff pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Ryan Abreu comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. Ready for the bottom of the 10th here. Now in the box, Jason Castro. The 1-1 home. And right into the shift. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And now pitch on the way. Popped straight up. Abreu just to the left of the mound. Looks it into his glove. And there's one gone. Ready for another chance. Albert Pujols. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. And now a swing and a miss by Pujols as they punch him out, and that's a big out number two. Number two. Shortstop. Shortstop. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. He lays off ball four, so now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Stepping in and ready for another shot, David Fletcher. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Two and one. Fastball like they're pinching him a bit here it's three and one the three and one pinch now here's one hit in the air to the right side Altuve is there to make the catch and that means we've got more baseball ahead so here's Yuli Gurriel and he'll be the one to get the 11th underway 
the 2 1 home. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the. Burrell swings and it's hit very well out to left. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And your go ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. So now to the plate, George Springer. Low as he's able to lay off the slider. Hot shot to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Throw on to first in time, one away. So a big spot here in stepping in, Carlos Correa. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. And the indication from the dugout comes. It looks like they're going to put him on intentionally. So that'll set up the double play possibility with one away. Inside and low, two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this. But he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Waiting on it is Goodwin. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now to the plate, Garrett Stubbs. The catcher, Garrett Stubbs. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. Two down, runners at first and second. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And the go-ahead run will score from second as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Noah Ramirez is into the ball game now as he'll make now his that. fifth appearance so of the season here. Michael Grant. Into the box, Michael Brantley. Three balls and a strike to Houston's left fielder. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Swing and a miss as he was way early on that one. Three and two. Bullet back up the middle. Trout is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Roberto Ozuna gets the call from the pen, and they've saved him for the 11th as he'll try and take this one home. Roberto. Now batting, Anthony Rendon struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Well, this one's been a bit of a head scratcher despite their home run production today. Yeah, Matty V, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, d all about pitching. It is. It's, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs that's going to win the ball. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Pretty good pitch right there, fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Oh, and he got a pitch to handle as this ball is hit high in the air and deep. And folks, this ball game is tied. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Justin Upton. 
hit sharply, but foul down the right side. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. And that ends the inning. in this one and that'll bring up Alex Bregman working on a good line in this ball game three for five thus far no contact there and it's one and two offered at that breaking ball below the zone and that's a tough one to spit on but the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier and making sure that it goes up before it comes down more likely to be a hanger when that's the case here now the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a liner. And that's another base hit for him. He's on a tear in this one. Now back second base. Jose. Altuve. Standing in now, Jose Altuve. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. And another foul ball. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. Usually in extra innings, you wait around for someone to run into one. He took matters into his own hands. Now it's up to his pitching staff to grab the W. Ryan Bookter will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. to the plate now Jordan Alvarez and this ball runs away for ball two two and one sitting in a good spot right here two ball one strike count is yet to see a fastball have to be sitting on one right here the two two is looked at and the count moves full Yuli Gurriel is on deck To right field and absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back to back home runs. At the plate, Yuli Gurriel. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Row, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there, and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches, and if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day, and we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. Outside, two and one. Seared down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Fouled away. He's set and the 2 2 pitch. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Carlos Correa is on deck. And it's fouled away. Ground ball right side. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. 
Sliding into the box, Carlos Correa, looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, 2 and 2. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. This is line to left. And call that a nice clean base hit, his first of the game. So he wins the full count battle and finds a way to extend the inning. Now batting, right fielder. At the plate now, Josh Reddick. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it, and that retires the side. Ryan Presley is on now hoping to finally wrap things up in the bottom of the 12th. Number 55. Stepping up now, Brian Goodwin. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Stepping into the box, Jason Castro. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, it didn't look good right there. Just out in front. You know, sometimes when a pitcher has great arm action, you're going to get that. You're trying so hard to catch up to the high velocity. If he shows that great arm action and pulls the string on you, sometimes a pop-up is going to be the result. So now to the plate, Albert Pujols fouled off. Runner at first here, one man out. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 2 2 one more time. Doesn't hit the target, it's ball three. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Good battle. Count remains full. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Chopped to third. Tough to get two. Altuve for one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Man, that was definitely a hard-earned victory, but that's what's going to make it even more satisfying. They take it in 12 innings on the road, and it's all smiles now. 8-5 to five tonight. The Astros get the win after banging out 16 total hits. Roberto Ozuna claims the win out of the pen his first. Ryan Presley earns the save out of the bullpen his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, eight runs on 16 hits. No errors. They left 10 men on base. For the Angels, five runs, eight hits. No errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, four hours exactly. Tonight's paid attendance at the Big A, 45,477. The Angels once again thank you for attending tonight's game and remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you and good night.